A new combat cast has just dropped, and this time we had a closer look at three Edenian characters, Queen Sindel, her servant Rain, and General Shao. To start off, it seems like Sindel retains a lot of her signature moves and abilities, mainly using her grabby hair in many of her combos, normal and projectile attacks. As for her special moves, her classic ultrasonic scream returns and this time it's more effective as a combo starter because it stuns the opponent for quite a long time in comparison to previous games. In addition, Sindel has some new moves that have to do with the new cameo system. When she activates this buff move, her cameo character can perform the attacks a lot faster, giving her an advantage in combat. The same move can also disable her opponent's breaker, and what's even cooler, she can use it to take control of the opponent's cameo, leaving her with two characters fighting on her side. Moving on to Rain, I have to say he's got a complete overhaul this time around, and as the high mage of Sindel's court, a new weapon was awarded to him in this timeline. He now bears this wizard staff, which he relies on in most of his combos and projectiles. He can also summon water portals to close the distance with the opponent, or get further away in case he wants to zone and use floor portals instead to trap and pop his opponents for further damage. When it comes to classic moves, Rain's Geyser Kick, Water Bubble and Shocking Bolt make their return, although they are enhanced and seem to do even more damage in this game. Lastly, we have General Shao who returns with a brand new physical appearance because he now has horns, so he's probably connected to Motaro's ancestors or something. In any case, another thing I noticed is that instead of his classic hammer, he now has an axe and a lot of his moves are actually reminiscent of classic ones, including the Wrath Hammer attack and the Charging Knee. I have to say that I'm slightly disappointed with the way they stripped Shao Kahn of his spear and hammer and gave him only an axe instead. It feels like General Shao will be very limited when it comes to gameplay, and to make matters even worse, his iconic You Suck and other taunts don't seem to be included in his overall character in this game. Finally, I can't end this video without talking about Stryker, who for all these decades and despite being a cop, has never, not for once, used handcuffs in combat, and I believe that this is an awesome addition to his arsenal in this new entry, and I really can't wait to see how Stryker compares to other cameo fighters when the game gets released. So this is all I have for today, let me guys know which cameo fighter is your favorite so far. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.